Yes, it was Mark Twain who once said, the coldest winter I ever spent was summer in San Francisco. <laughs> I have to agree, it's uh, August 1st, right? That's got to be like the middle of summer, wouldn't you say? Um, but uh, yeah, we uh, it's misting, it's cold, it's sad. I live inland. That's toward the, the ocean there. I live that way. In fact, you can see the sun over there off in the distance, it's starting to clear. Um, oh, look, parrots. I hear parrots. Here they come. Where are they? There they are. Those are parrots. You hear them? Those are tropical parrots of San Francisco. They got loose one by one. And they all found each other. Now they just run around and have a party everywhere they go. Um, but yeah, it's really cold in San Francisco. But you know the amazing thing is, is that you still can grow really cool stuff. Uh, you think that you would need like lots of heat to get a jacaranda to bloom really well. And uh, that's not the case because I have an example right here, right now. And that there is a jacaranda happily fully in bloom despite being in a refrigerator. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to live here. I don't know who would ever want to live here in this refrigerator. I tend to like the heat. But, um, but anyway, I wanted to pull over and show you that, yes, it is possible to fully bloom a jacaranda even in the coldest parts of San Francisco, which is where we are right now. Um, jacaranda is native to South America, Argentina area primarily. It, uh, it's called jacaranda mimosifolia because the foliage looks like a mimosa. Looks like a mimosa. It's also called, uh, I think the older name is jacaranda acutifolia. And so that's because the foliage is acute on the ends. Um, so anyway, uh, but what's cool about jacaranda is you get this carpet of color underneath the trees. When these trees are really big, they'll leave flowers all over the ground and it's just gorgeous. It looks like somebody just had a wedding and little kids were throwing out flowers for the wedding. Um, you can see it makes a really nice street tree and, uh, you know, even when it's not in bloom, it has this beautiful ferny foliage. I don't think I have any jacaranda videos on my true plant stories yet, but uh, here's my first. You know, it would be good to continue to stake the tree until it hardens up in a straight pattern so you don't get a leaning tree, but you know, it's a little character. Um, these trees become really drought tolerant in time, even in the inland hotter climates. So, uh, but like anything, they'll want to get some water for a while to get going and then uh then they'll take off from there and become really low maintenance but uh anyway jacaranda everybody loves a jacaranda and uh not only can you grow it in northern california it's hardy to about 25 degrees you know it'll survive lower temperatures it'll just defoliate and look funny and maybe freeze back a little bit and then it'll come roaring back the bigger it is the hardier it is probably handle 20 degrees you know if it were like this tree here, this tree's so big and fat that if there was a 20 degree freeze, uh, it would die back. It might even die back to wood that's this thick and the whole top would die. And then you come in here and just prune the heck out of it and then boom, it explodes and starts growing again. And uh, truthfully, it's not a bad idea to do that to those trees anyway. Sometimes freezes uh, force you to do the maintenance you were supposed to do anyway by cutting things back. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. We get a long shot of the beautiful Jack Rand as I decided to pull over, take a picture. I'm on my way to go look at a job right now. And there they are, happily existing in the refrigerator fog belt that Mark Twain was apparently complaining about uh, way back when. And that's all we need to know. And if you look closely, you'll see a bootia, some bootia, some boot bootia. See some nice bootia on top of that uh, roof up there. Butia capitata from the same region of the earth as the jacaranus would all make sense have a great day